One aspect of the differences between American and British English is that of pronunciation, as described in American and British English pronunciation differences. The general American and the British received pronunciation accents have some significant points of difference, described in this article. However, other regional accents in each country also show differences, for which see regional accents of English speakers. Received pronunciation has been the subject of many academic studies, and is frequently used as a model for teaching English to foreign learners. The widely repeated claim that only about 2% of Britons speak RP is no more than a rough estimate and has been questioned by several writers, most notably by the phonetician J. Windsor Lewis. History Phonological differences Roticity – ga is rhotic while rp is non-rhotic, that is, the phoneme – r – is only pronounced in rp when it is immediately followed by a vowel sound. Where ga pronounces – r – before a consonant and at the end of an utterance, rp either has no consonant if the preceding vowel is skeptical smiley face, or, as in bore, burr and bar or has a schwa instead the resulting sequences being diphthongs or triphthongs. This leads to several RP mergers characteristic of non-rhotic accents, whereas ga maintains these distinctions. Similarly, where ga has R colored vowels, or as in cupboard, or bird, RP has plain vowels or the intrusive R of many RP speakers in such sequences as the idea R of it is absent in ga. This is a consequence of the rhotic, non rhotic distinction. The trap bath split has resulted in RP having the back unrounded open vowel. In many words where ga has a front open unrounded vowel, a, this RP vowel occurs typically but not always when followed by nt, ent, per nanosecond, s, f, or theta, e.g. ant, pass, laugh, path. The distribution is reversed for certain foreign names and loanwords spelled with a, such as pasta and macho. RP has three open back vowels, where ga has only two or even one. Most ga speakers use, for both the RP, spot, and, spa, the father-bother merger. Nearly half of American speakers additionally use the same vowel for the RP, the cot-cot merger. While the lot cloth split is not usually found in RP, it is found in those GA speakers who do not have the cot cot merger, which otherwise neutralizes this split. This results in, in some words which now have in RP, particularly before voiceless fricatives and sometimes before per gram, where it is always in RP, both older and contemporary. This is reflected in the I dialect. Spelling. Dog. For dog. Long O. And. Short O. Before intervocalic, R, have merged in American English. Thus. Moral. And. Oral. Rhymes in ga, m. While in RP they do not rhyme, being pronounced, ml, and, l, respectively. RP has a marked degree of contrast of length between short and long vowels the long vowels being the diphthongs plus i u and in ga this contrast is much less evident and never phonemic so the ipa length symbol is often omitted the long o as in boat is realized differently ga back first element o rp central first element However, there is considerable variation in this vowel on both sides of the Atlantic. The distinction between unstressed and 
e.g. roses versus roses is sometimes lost in ga, while in rp it is retained. Thus in rp, batted, baited, and battered, baited, are not homophones as they are in Australian English. Where ga has i in an unstressed syllable at the end of a morpheme, conservative rp has not having undergone happy tensing. This distinction is retained in inflected forms, e.g., candied and candid are homophones in rp, but not in ga. In ga, flapping is common when either a t or a d occurs between a sonorant phoneme and an unstressed vowel phoneme. It is realized as an alveolar flap allophone. This sounds like a d to rp speakers. Is an allophone of r in conservative rp, which is hence caricatured in America as a Vedi British accent. The degree of flapping varies considerably among speakers, and is often reduced in more formal settings. It does occur to an extent in nearly all speakers of American English, with better pronounced with a flap almost ubiquitously regardless of background. Pronouncing the T would be considered overly formal. This does not mean it always completely merges with better, as many speakers enunciate the D so as to distinguish it slightly from the flapped T. Yod dropping occurs in ga at the onset of stressed syllables after all alveolar consonants, including T, D, theta, S, Z, N, L, I, E, historic, Ju, from spellings U, U, E, U, E, U, is pronounced U. In contrast, RP speakers always retain J after N, e.g. nu as RP, NJU, GA, nu. Retain or coalesce it after T, D, e.g. do as RP, DJU, or do, GA, do. Retain or drop it after theta l, e.g. allude as rp l j u d or as ga lu d. Retain, coalesce or drop it after s z, e.g. assume as rp s j u m or as ga su m. Yod coalescence occur in both ga and rp in unstressed syllables or after a stressed vowel. RP however more often retains the yod, especially in carefully enunciated forms of words. For example, issue as RP, SU, or as GA, U, graduate may be carefully enunciated in RP as radjet, but nature is always coalesced, net R. In both ga and rp, however, the sounds of word final, d, s, t, and, z, spelled either s or z, can coalesce with the sound of word initial, j, spelled u or y, in casual or rapid speech, becoming, d, t, and, respectively, thus this year, eth, r, can sound like this sheer, sheer. This is also found in other English accents. For some RP speakers upper class, unlike in ga, some or all of tire, tire, tower, and tar are homophones, this reflects the merger of the relevant vowels. The voiceless stops, t, p, and, k, have a stronger aspiration in RP. Vowels differ slightly consult the vowel charts of ga and RP.